a loud truck. We are back at Outback RV in Denton, Texas. And I'm gonna to talk to Craig today about a global expedition vehicle called a GXV. And this thing is a monster, so check this out. All right, man, take us through this thing. I, went, I walked around it already and took a bunch of pictures and I got a picture of myself standing next to the tire. I'm always getting g given a hard time about how short I am. So I had to get a picture of myself well, next to the tire. This is a, <laughs> it, it's, it's a big vehicle for sure. Yeah. That's a 2016 GXV. Okay. Uh, that's uh, Global Expedition Vehicles. And it's on a 2005 LMTV chassis. It's a LMTV. 1079 chassis. 270 horsepower uh, Caterpillar. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Diesel then. It is a diesel. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have 75 gallons of fuel here, and then there's a center tank in the back that holds about 200 gallons. So about 275 of uh, wow. fuel. Wow. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, so what they've done on this, there's a couple uh, little neat options that they've done. In the back, if we can see the back. Yep. So he has installed, was a motorcycle lift. <laughs> now what he's done is he has put a three-person uh, tent on the back. So this will fold out. Oh. And then you'll have a three-person hard shell tent come up. And this will raise up and down and... Uh, it's really a good idea. If you have the inside, will sleep two. If you need to sleep two or three more, put them in the tent, raise them up off the ground. Mm -hmm. Off you go. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. And then on the uh, also on the outside, what they've done is uh, it's, it's a little bit of a mess back here. But That's all right. we have two 400 amp hour lithium ions, as you can see in the back. Okay. And then uh, this is a 2800 watts of inverter power with 800 watts of solar on the roof 800 watts of solar on the roof yeah. okay so all, tw all 12 volt all 12 volt okay now okay the, the heat and the hot water mm -hmm. uh that's going to be off of wabasco that's a diesel heat hot water system okay and then it has, it has a small diesel generator 3200 mm -hmm. but there's enough power in this with the solar and the inverters where actually the generator would be uh, just for your AC if you wanted to run AC in it. Everything else would be powered off your solar. And, uh, and so, I mean, uh, but, the, but, the, but the diesel generator will charge the batteries, presumably, if you get into a situation where like, you're like in a bad storm so, and there's right. no sun for a couple days or something right. like that. Okay. Yeah, your engine or, or, or generator, will, if you're traveling, your engine will charge them. Right. If, if you're camping out, your, uh, your generator. The generator will. Okay, yeah. so you got redundant power, in other words. Yes, That's yeah. great. That's great. Okay. It looks like those tires are up by themselves, too, this so, yeah. uh, regulator here. Right. So, there's a, this has a system that will tell your, monitors your tires and then you can inflate them. Okay without having to run a, a hose out to them. Right, yeah. 395-85R20s. That's, that's a 20-inch rim, but that's... <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks to me like they're like a 42-inch. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, that that n that number, that now, P rating is deceiving. This is fun to drive. I have driven it. It's fun to drive. Uh, you're not going to break any land speed records for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, okay. It's, it's great to drive. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, let's go around to the other side before we go in, right. in inside so, the thing. This whole cab is on air, and if you need to lift it up to get to the engine, there's a box right behind the wheel here. Yeah. Let's see. Pull the pin. This is all your system. Oh, nice. To raise the the cab, uh, okay. cab tilt. Yes, it, so this is it's not a lot of strenuous work having to, to do this. You just hit you hit the valve, uh -huh. the cab raises over. Nice. Working on the engine. Okay. Uh, it's such a high vehicle that yeah. they install these steps that come in and out. Sure. This front will fold down. You have a camera on the front. You have the super winch on the front. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have also on this bumper, you, it's high enough that you could actually put a bicycle rack up here also. Yeah, yeah. Put a bike on, extra okay. accessories. Okay. Oh, right. Really? Air, this is all your air supply. Okay. Inside this box is going to be your bank of batteries. You're going to have your starters in here. Okay. 
Um, and there's a bank of uh, four six volt starters. Hmm. This is all storage. Oh, okay. And these are super well. So I would say 95% watertight. Okay. Pretty much watertight. You okay. don't have to worry about water getting up in here. These are super tight. It's pretty cool. Yeah. More storage back here. This is the other side of, right. uh, of the upper storage. You see a water pump. You have a Wabasco sitting back here for your hot water okay. and your heat. Uh, this is your controller out here for your lift. Nice. If you look under here, you'll see the fuel, the center, the center tank for fuel. Okay, yeah. And 200 then, gallons, you said, right? Yeah. Wow. And then, this is a military vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, so you'll see a pendle hook on the back instead of a regular head. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. that can be changed out to, to a heavy-duty uh, ball-style uh, hitch if you wanted to. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, let's go look at the inside, then. Yeah, I, this is pretty incredible. Yeah, I, I actually did take a picture of that already. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, you don't absolutely well you don't insulated. See walls like no, this. no, not at all, not at all. It's got is that a camera on the side there as well, or is that just a light? No, these are lights. That's a light. No. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. <sighs> Here, let's. Uh... Don't have power. I should have power. There, there you go. That. Yeah. Here's the interior. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a very nice interior. Incredible cabinet work. This is something that you would see in a lot of Prevost style mm -hmm. coaches. Mm -hmm. um, there is absolutely no uh, laminate or, 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 or no particle board in this coach. Ah. This is going to be. That's going to be honeycomb. Mm -hmm. um, they make them very strong and very lightweight. Mm -hmm. Management systems over here where your uh, generators start, your solar monitoring system, mm -hmm. and then this is a main controller okay. for the whole coach. Okay. And then you have a full size bed up at the top. Over Good. here, you've got the uh, refrigerator freezer, all, all 110. Okay. You have an electric burner right here, all 110. Um, and then, of course, your sink, mm -hmm. extra cabinets, interior bath. Mm -hmm. Let's get a look in okay. here. That's actually a pretty nice size. For the sink in there. And... So for the size of coach, it is uh, it's very well laid out. Mm -hmm. This would be uh, an equivalent to like a 24-foot Class C. Okay. Good, good. That's good to know. 24 foot class C. And huh. then you have access into the cab. Station. I saw that in there. I was like, you know, that's pretty cool that you could close off the cab and kind of feel a little bit safer at night because the wind, the, uh, the without having to cover up your windshield right. and whatnot. So, yeah, there's the CB radio. I knew there was a radio in here because it had two antennas on the front of it. But that's, yeah, I, I do like it. And that, that door right there is fairly thick as well. So, yeah, this is a. These are built, and mm -hmm. they are built for for expeditionary type right. travel. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to go on the roughest of roads, Alaska, South America, mm -hmm. uh, these are made for it. Yeah, yeah. Robert was saying there's a there's a group that meets up and they drive up to Alaska together in these things. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be a fun yeah. trip. That would be. Awesome. That would be a really fun trip. Cool, man. Well, you guys are selling this on consignment for customers, that yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, he's out of Springfield, Missouri, where they actually build these. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's at 289. 289. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on your website. It's on the website. Okay. We'll put a link uh, to this on the website below. But um, yeah, really I did want to. Yeah, this almost looks like a so, like a food truck type. Yeah, door. exactly. That's yeah. what we call it. Okay. So this all. Uh, let's see. This there you open go. up. Yeah, look at and that. Great ventilation, and you can actually, and you can have this closed and still open up your window. So this is just an option. Yeah, you can open up the whole side. Okay, that is pretty. Yeah, that is pretty slick right there. You could do all kinds of stuff. You know, set the food in there or whatever. 
Of course, you'd have to get a ladder to get up to it, but, well, yeah. <laughs> but cool. this is a, definitely a neat, uh, neat concept in here. Perfect. Hey, man, I think thanks for your time today. This was fun. I'll uh, send you a link to the video when it's done, and uh, you guys go check out OutbackRVTX.com, and this will be on there. Link in the description below.